And today we're going to tackle these four problems. We're going to solve them one by one, starting with the first one, more versatile. Well, you must have seen some of these photos online. Uh, they are actually overexposed photos taken with the TL70. And uh, the reason why these photos are overexposed is because we're working on very sensitive film here. We're working on ISO 800 film, which you usually wouldn't be using under the sun. You'd be using ISO 800 for, for example, indoor shots. But people are bringing their cameras outdoors, and I don't blame them. They, they're using a large aperture, and this is a result. Well, in the TL70, have you ever wondered what those are for? Well, besides the lens cap, those are for adding on filters. So today, we're announcing a, a new set of filters for the TL70, which would solve the problem of overexposure. And it comes with uh, uh, three neutral density filters, uh, ND2, ND4, and ND8. And if you're using ND8, basically, you can shoot ev anywhere you want. And also comes with a very beautiful lens hood to block out the light flare. And we also included a close-up lens. Close-up lens to bring the world even closer to you. The TL70 itself is already the closest uh, instant camera can get. It, it, you can shoot up to 48 centimeters without the close-up lens, but with the close-up lens, you can go even closer. And this is, these are a few shots from, from our colleagues. Really nice. Notice the depth of field, the bokeh effect. It's really nice. So the TL70 lens set gives you more flexibility. You can shoot under direct sunlight. You, you have a lens hood to pre prevent light flare. And you can get even closer than 48 cm. It makes the TL70 a much more versatile camera. Now you can shoot anywhere with the TL70. And we're selling this for just $99. For those of you who have used a TL70, one of the main comments was, why don't we have more accessories like the neck strap? Well, we spent the last few months working on that, and we now have a neck strap designed especially for the TL70, made in Japan, and it's gonna go for $52. For those of you who want uh, full protection, we have a TL70 EverReady case, a, a really nice leather case that protects your camera. You get full protection. You, you, it's very easy to remove. You don't need to take the camera out before uh, shooting. It just goes with your camera. It's got a very clever zipper design, and it's made with leather, also made in Japan. And this is, will be selling for $199. For, for those of you who want extra accessories for TL70, there you go. So, we can check off the first two points, more versatile and more accessories. The third one. Now, this one is a big one. It's a biggie. Easier to use. You want to make the camera easier to use. And how do we do that? Well, the major comment by TL70 users is that the old viewfinder is too dark. And we're going to make it brighter today. Well. Before I show you the real thing, I'm going to show you how we did it. And we did it by looking back at the best companies that make twin lens cameras, and that is Rolleiflex. They started making twin lens cameras way back last century. And we actually paid them a visit. And they shared a lot of things about how they make the TLR better. And they and we realized what they did was they used a Fresnel lens to brighten the viewfinder. And uh, a Fresnel lens is something that uh, converges all the light onto a single plane. And that is exactly what we needed for the TL70. And if you're, if, and if you're an SX70 user, you'll find that there is also a Fresnel lens in the SX70. And that's what makes the viewfinder that bright. 
So this is what you'll usually be getting on a uh, original TL70. And it's, it's taking uh, in a dim room. You normally ha you'll have problem focusing. Uh, the, the, the exteriors are kind of dim. You can only see the um, middle portion. But we're going to say goodbye to that. This is what it looks like on the new viewfinder. So you might be wondering, why didn't we include this split circle this time in the viewfinder? Well, there are a couple of reasons. And we did try to put the split circle inside the viewfinder, but uh, it didn't work as well as we expected. Because we realized that when we were uh, developing the screen, this, this split circle works best on, a, on Polaroid film, on a square format. And usually on a normal twin lens camera, this, the format is a 120. It's a square format, so that's when it works best. It also works good on a 135 film, which, which is a horizontal. But if we put it in on a vertical format, like the TL70, it just doesn't work that well. So we didn't include the split circle, but we did have a, we we're giving a better magnifying glass for you to focus more easily. And for those of you, who already have a 1.0, we're also giving, we're giving out upgrade kits so we can upgrade directly to the bright version. So TL70 2.0, it, it's inspired by Rolleiflex. It's as good as we think. It's as good as the Rolleiflex viewfinder. It's five times, at least, five times brighter than the original TL70 and you have to get your hands on one of those. We're gonna have a few of them uh, on the side counters over there after the presentation. And for those of you who wanna upgrade their cameras, you can do it today. We, we, you, and you can take away your camera right away. So that's the third thing. And the last but not least, we need to build the, the camera with better quality. And you might have seen some of these uh, issues online People saying that there are shutter issues, uh, the focusing sticker is out of place, uh, light leaks, uneven rollers. And in fact, some of these did happen in certain batches of the TL70. But we spent the last year using a lot of film, trying very hard, pulling all-nighters to solve these issues. And I'm, I'm positive to say we have finally nailed it. You won't be seeing any of these issues in the upcoming batches of the TL70 2.0. And how we did this is, well, it's kind of technical, but one way we did it is by changing suppliers. Well, this is the portfolio of suppliers we had in uh, the original TL70. And for the 2.0, we switched some critical components to some better suppliers, and we think this will have a major positive impact on the quality of the camera. So we can check off better quality, and I think it's safe to say we have a very good camera this time. All of this is more versatile. We have more accessories. It's got a brighter screen, and Overall, it's just better quality, and that is the TL70 2.0. That's the first thing I have for you today. Thank you. Thank you. That's the first thing. And I also have a second update for you. And this one is related to one of our favorite cameras, the SX70.